Hey, so this is basically just showing you how you can reference a whole lot faster with uh, Zotero just generally. So there are two ways you can do this. I've got a reference list here from a reading I've been going through. So uh, what I've found here is one of these has a DOI. The DOI is the reference code to basically find this citation. It's the website that's basically universally held so you can actually um, access that reading as well. Uh, like basically it'd be like DOI.com forward slash exactly this text here. So that's exactly how Zotero can actually bring in some of this information. So for instance, I can just go to the magic wand at the top here. Um, I think I can just show you like this. Yes, this is the magic wand. You can basically type that in or paste it, which would be much easier. Hit enter uh, and it will find that reference exactly. So it's got everything there. Uh, as you can see, it's literally everything. And it's because of this DOI that it has arrived. Uh, the ISSN is the uh, title of the publication. So the journal article or whatever it is. Most of the time it will just be the journal article. And yeah, a lot of the times as well, you may be able to right click and like find the PDF. Um, I'm not sure if this comes as a standard with Zotero. You may need to download an extension to get those. I also have a DOI manager, um, so you can basically like find one if you don't already have one, uh, or you know, find shorter, find longer, etc. Just manages it as you would imagine. There are other tools you can also use, like SciHub, so you can basically access that article um, by searching that entire database. You can search for those just on Google and then basically install them just by going to tools and add-ons. And then once you're in add-ons, you basically can just go to the wheel, go install add-ons from file, locate that file. But the other way of referencing that I find really useful as well is basically you can find a reference you may want, one without a DOI. So we've got one above here. Um, sometimes I put these in red just so I can um, copy it much easier or reference it or whatever. So I'm just gonna copy this text you can then go to a browser. Uh, so this is the cross-reference website. So doi.crossref.org, simple text query. And you can basically paste in the reference. And a lot of the time you can basically uh, search for it instantly. You can also do multiple lines if you so wanted to. I'll do that for the sake of demonstration. Let's put this one here, Andrew Shap. Uh, that does have a doi, where's another one without one? Human Rights Quarterly. I'm not sure if these will actually come up at all because of the fact that this person has actually used DOI as part of their referencing. So it's possible that there is no DOI. Um, it depends on the uh, publication, basically. So these may not actually come up with anything. Yeah, this one actually does have a DOI. So that's exactly it. So all you need to do is paste in that reference. Instead of having to enter the whole thing manually, you can then just copy this DOI. I would just right click, go copy link. And then jump straight back into Zotero and it can use that entire link. It'll obviously figure out what is the DOI section and it'll also add that article. So that saves you a lot of time. And it's already in there. And again, then you'll be able to like find a little PDF. If not, update with uh, We won't do that right now. So yeah, that's everything.